Let's take a look at how F5 Distributed Cloud WAP users can add caching capabilities via F5 Distributed Cloud to their application deployment. If you already have F5's web application and API protection solution, you know very well that it has game-changing security enhancements for distributing cloud environments, including a web application firewall, DDoS protection, bot defense, and API security. By integrating F5 Distributed Cloud CDN with WAP, you can enhance end-user experience by serving static and dynamic content from edge locations without high cost and resources, and do so securely, leveraging the benefits of WAP in protecting your applications. The F5 CDN complements WAP with the same operational simplicity and ease of use, centralizing management and observability with global delivery. Let's show how quick and easy it is to get started integrating CDN with your WAP solution. Start by logging in to the F5 Distributed Cloud Console. Navigate to DNS Management and either delegate your management, or you can add your DNS zone to the DNS management itself in the console. Either way is acceptable. Next, navigate to Web App and API Protection, and either create or navigate to your custom namespace and go to add a new HTTP load balancer. Here you're going to enter your basic parameters such as the load balancer name and the fully qualified domain name for your web application. Go ahead and select automatic certificates and secure redirects as needed. And for the origin pool, I'm simply going to choose an existing one that I've already configured. Now there's nothing special to this origin pool other than I've made it externally available for the simplicity of this demo. Go ahead and apply your settings for the origin pool. And next we're going to add our custom WAF policy. Now this is a policy that I've predefined for this demo, but if we go ahead and take a look at it, it is simply blocking risky behavior. Next, you can add additional protections such as API with the addition of a Swagger file. You could also introduce or add bot protection as well as DDoS protection as needed or as you see fit for your WAF overall policies. There are many other options available, including rate limiting and custom error responses. For this demo, I'm just going to take the defaults. With our changes saved, the next, step, the next step in this process is to go ahead and check to make sure that the web application and API load balancer is valid, and it is. And following that, we're now ready to create our CDN distribution. Provide the distribution name and its fully qualified domain name. Note this is the name that your users will be using to access the service externally. Enable redirection and security settings as needed. Now we're going to define the FQDN that we created in step three for the WAF. Here we're going to add the fully qualified domain name of the HTTP LB that we created in the previous step. And we'll go ahead and apply those settings. And that completes all that's needed for the CDN distribution. If you'd like to override any settings provided by your web servers, you're welcome to do so here, including the ability to override how long the CDN caches content from the servers. Here I'm setting it for one minute, and that's all you need to do. Go ahead and save the changes, and when the CDN has finished deploying, you'll see that the virtual host is ready with a valid certificate, and furthermore, you can check to make sure that the status is completely and fully deployed to the different RE sites by scrolling down under the global status. Now we're going to show a hands-on. Let's verify that the DNS fully qualified name is resolves. And we can see that it does. There's a CNAME pointing to our CDN and we have the IP addresses of the REs. Next up, we're going to hit the HTTP LB WAP with our WAF policy. We get a good response for that. And finally, we hit our CDN, and we see that we get a good response for that. Take note of the server headers. Next up, we pull up our web browser and accessing the WAP or accessing the web application, we can see that we have a lot of misses on the first access and that the load time is high. Now, if we try to access our site and we introduce an attack like 
producing a script alert. Our web, our web application firewall policy blocks that. And when we jump over to the CDN distribution, we can see that the response codes changed. If we take a look even closer at the dashboard for the WAF, we can see that there was a security incident associated with that incident that we just created by generating that basic level of attack. You can see all the top attacks broken down by category here on the security dashboard. Now, if we go back and load our app, now we can see that we are now seeing cached or getting cached content. The first one is to revalidate the content within a minute, and every request under a minute, we see CDN hits. If we refresh the performance dashboard for the CDN, we can now see a much greater hit ratio, drastically reducing the amount of bandwidth consumed by the service rendering the web page. As we said, F5 Distributed Cloud WAP plus CDN is a great fit. Our CDN is cloud agnostic, flexible, agile, and you can enforce security policies anywhere, on-prem, in and across clouds, and at the edge. For more information on both products, please visit the F5 Distributed Cloud website at f5.com cloud. Thanks for viewing this demo.